I think this trip is primarily phase one, uh, building those bridges uh, to the populations and to the leaders out in Asia around the themes that the U.S. is here to stay, the U.S. is deeply engaged, the U.S. not only talks but listens, and we have a major common agenda that we can usefully address. Then we're going to have to see in the ensuing months and probably the ensuing years, because this is a cumulative process, whether he can tip the balance in a direction where three to four years from now you look back and you say, boy, he turned around America's role in the world in a serious way, or we may have to end up saying there, uh, looking back three or four years from now and saying, you know, he tried, but he really couldn't get it over the top. And we'll just have to see. The one exception to the issue of deliverables on this trip is the potential for serious progress between the U.S. and China on the issue of clean energy cooperation. Uh, there are a lot of ways in which our two economies are complementary as we approach development and deployment of clean energy technologies. We can do an enormous amount together, more than either of us can do separately. Both national leaderships want to move in this direction. There are obviously a lot of obstacles, bureaucratic and regulatory, et cetera. Uh, but if we can really get this moving, this is an extraordinarily important area uh, in which to move forward together.